Only the black could live like this. This is what uh, Michael Cohen, uh, Donald Trump's uh, former, former fixer, said that Donald Trump said when he was driving through some inner city neighborhoods. Uh, I believe it was in Chicago. Uh, and he said this right before the midterms, uh, before the midterm elections. I don't know if he was trying to influence the vote or not, by, but we all know um, Mr. Trump has his ideas. Uh, he wants, uh, you know, he's speaking to the America that wants uh, America to stay predominantly white. Um, and it is, you know, their nature, it's natural for, you know, want to, for someone to, for people to want to maintain uh, the majority and maintain benefits for themselves. And although I vehemently disagree with Mr. Trump on so many different levels, um, I agree with him if in fact he did say only the blacks could live like this when he was going through the streets of Chicago, uh, uh, probably to do some kind of business deal. Um, and that should say something. And so instead of us looking at it like, oh, he's so racist, he's this, he's that. He's only saying what quite a bit of people, a lot of people are saying. He's just verbalizing it, it because, you know, let's face it, Donald Trump has no filter. So he thinks that he's going to say it. And I'd rather deal with people like that. And he is absolutely right. You go through the inner city neighborhoods all across America and you will see things that you will not see in other neighborhoods and I don't care how poor you are there's common decency and not throwing trash where you eat and sleep not destroying uh, your home with graffiti Everywhere on the corner, you see someone smoking a blunt. You see a liquor store on every corner. Now, I am not opposed to, you know, people having their little wine and their little whatever you, you need to relax, re uh, unwind, and so forth. But then the liquor bottles make it to the street. And then you're walking. And you're kicking litter bo uh, uh, liquor bo uh, bottles in the street. Homes are condemned. They're not. Uh, look at look at Detroit. Where else has that happened? So, you know, although Mister, we can. Uh, we can get mad at Mr. Trump all we want, but he's right. Only we can live like this. Only we can live with 75 plus percent of our women having children out of wedlock. And keep having children with people who are not taking care of them. I just read an, uh, I saw a news article on a brother, I, 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 you know, I'm from old school, so I, I still refer to black folk as brother and sister. But when I say brother, I'm talking about a black man or black male, if you will. 
he had now i i'm be like this one in this case this one is a total black male because no man would do this and i think i will find that news footage and upload it um and he had 30 children 30 children with 11 different women. And this fool had a nerve to go to court and you know, all these women have him on child support. Um, and he's probably one of those males, you know, that you see on YouTube crying about child support, but then you, you having <laughs> all these babies with these different women. Babies gotta eat. They need a decent place to live. And he goes into court talking about, oh, he needs help taking care of all his kids because his the baby, the baby mamas got him on child support and he can't pay it because he's only making, um, making a minimum wage. But yet he's still having kids. When he was at 21, they were asking him, how you want to keep getting, taking care of these kids? He said he was going to stop at 21. Fool is now at 30. 30 kids begging the, port, the courts to intervene. Who in the world could take people like this seriously? So he's upset because his check's being eaten up and the poor baby mamas are getting like a dollar forty nine each check to all his eleven baby mamas. A dollar. They're all splitting the check down. He's complaining, going to court talking about he can't afford that. <laughs> this isn't funny, but what's funny is the women and my channel is for women. And I I love my sisters. We got problems, but I love my sisters. We got some serious problems. We need to work it on out. <laughs> and stop letting people treat us this way. Now, I don't know if all those 11 women know each other. Or even if they know that he had impregnated other people. Because, you know, some, they be smooth with it. Oh, you're the only one for me, you know. And then all of a sudden, you find like he got somebody somewhere else down the street saying the same thing to those people and saying the same thing to somebody else. And this man needed to have put a, put a, a condom on him. It cost what? I, you know, I, I don't know what condoms cost these days. But it couldn't cost more than $5 for a box of condoms, right? If I'm wrong, someone will let me know. So when you were at 21 and they were telling you you need to stop having these kids because you can't take care of them, you could have invested that money towards a box of condoms or several box of condoms. You wouldn't be in this predicament at child number 30. insane only the blacks can live like this i agree with donald trump and that's something i would thought i would never say yeah i can respect a person that tells it like it is because i'd rather have you show me that you don't like me because i'm a black person than pretend that you like me because it's political politically correct so in many ways I'm fine with him I'm just not fine with him lying all the time because he lies 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 everything is a lie and everything is propaganda and political uh, theater I can get with anyone who's truthful whether you agree with me or not but he is just 
you know. But anyway, like I said, I I agree with him when he said, if he said, like my Michael Cohen said, only the blacks could live like this. Because no other women on the face of this earth, even in when you go into the third world countries, honey, those men got to be taking care of their women unless it's in Africa because Africa is something totally different. It's the same thing here. The women are taking care of their children. They're working. So I don't know if it's something in the black community globally that women think they have to bring home the bacon, bring home the pig, kill the pig, salt the pig, chop up the pig into different things, cook the pig, freeze the pig, and make ham sandwiches after that. I, I don't know if it's, and then after you do all of that, you still gotta, you know, go out and work and do everything. You, you, you can't do everything. You are a woman. You can't do everything. You are made to do one thing. The man is made to do another thing. We are going against nature and our own body tells us that. You can't do everything. Stop saying we are super women and stop saying that we are strong, meaning you can just dump on us all day and we are so resilient we'll just bounce back. Only the blacks can live like this, according to Donald Trump. And I say according to Donald Trump because many people feel this way. And he's only representing the 40%. And I'm only, it was more than 40% that voted for him. And they heard his racist rhetoric before they voted for him. So you know they feel that same way. And that includes black people. That includes all those black males that voted for him. And a lot of black women voted for him too because in some, in some respects, he was right. I don't know what's going on with him while I was in office. He, this man isn't fit to serve. But that doesn't mean to say he wasn't right about the fact that only the blacks can live like this. Only black women take scraps and say, okay, thank you for the scraps. I, at least I have the scraps. Now going back to the, that man with 30 kids, 30 damn kids crying over a dollar forty-nine child support for each of them, them baby mamas. What can a dollar forty-nine do? And you know what eleven baby mamas he had he has about two kids with each baby mama two plus kids that is insane and the babe the, the mothers of these children after you saw he wasn't taking care of the first one why would you bet down with him again come on now women we have got to do better than this The sky is yours. Stop settling for the pieces of scraps that the black community says that you have to live with. Now, Donald Trump said only the blacks can live like this. I say only if that's how you want to live. So if you want something better, if you don't like living in squalor, if you don't like living in a household that you have to, you, there's a bear coming home and you can look at my other video on the fight or flight um, instinct that is within us, that it is overactive and gives us anxiety. If we are living in, in, in a situation where we always feel like we have to be guarded, whether that's abusive situation, physical abuse, sexual abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, any of those, you have a right to say no more. 
I don't want to live like this. And in 2019, let's clean it up, black women. You deserve better. Go pick up your sister. I see so much bickering online with black women. Let's not go down the road where we, we see these black men going. Let's not go down the, that road. Please. Stop calling each other's name in each other's name because essentially you're talking about yourself because that is your reflection. And I I, I hate using that word because I, <laughs> I saw another crazy person on YouTube. Black people crazy. I, I'm gonna tell you that right now. But anyway, I saw another crazy person on YouTube talking about reflecting this fool and take all these sisters in the jungle. And they went with him. I'm like, where are your mamas at? So talking about you, my reflection and and foolishness. I, I'm gonna do something on him later, but you know, at at present, I just wanted to talk about Donald Trump and the fact that he says only the blacks can live like this, and the fact that I agree with him, but only if we want to live like this. Because nobody is forcing you to live like this. Okay, so let's make 2019 the year we say we don't want to live like this.